Hi everyone, if you're particular about living an intentional life, then I can guarantee you that you're in the right channel. These days when I read about things going on in the society, on social media, or even have it as a story, what comes to my mind sometimes is rapture. There's this very bad song, like I am Daru, So in this video I'm going to share with you ways you can maintain your sanity because your mental health really matters a lot of things is going on ways you can maintain your stage your sanity but you still feel yourself that you won't allow what is going on to really affect you i'm going to share you so stay right with me in this video don't move an inch and try to share with people if you haven't subscribed to this channel now is the time for you to subscribe to this channel Please share with people, recommend my channel to people. Thank you as you do that. This video also is for all parents. You have to be intentional about your parenting. So don't joke with this video. Listen attentively. Without further ado, let's go into the business of today. And the first on my list is Stay away from people that does not share the same value with you. In our society, there are some things that you value and you meet some people that they don't value, they just talk trash about it. Those kind of people, stay away from them. Maybe you are the kind of person that takes time seriously. And you see some people that you tell them the time for this appointment is two, but by the time you see them, they will come in around four. Those kind of people, the two of you are not in alignment. The Bible says in Amos 3.3, 3, can two work together except they are great. That's, your value might be, you are not going to take anybody's thing. And some people, they didn't see anything wrong in stealing people's thing. They might just intrude your privacy, take your things, use your things, even without telling you that. After the visit, that is when you start calling them that, I can't find my wristwatch, and next thing is that, you know, I took it. There are some people like that, even to underwear. They will just take your things, they won't even, they don't even value privacy, they don't value things, they don't, they don't value people's things, taking permission from people. And there are some people that they don't place value on living a good life. They don't care who you are, they will just talk to you anyhow. Even, even there's some people don't value respect, and if you're a kind of person that respect people, respect they say is reciprocal. If you find someone that does not respect you, that talk down on people, that wash people down with your mouth, even elders, those kind of people stay away from them. You are not in alignment. For you to maintain your health, your sanity, without you shouting all the time, without you screaming all the time. Stay away from those people. The second category in my list is stay away from people that do opposite of what they say. Those people, they lack integrity. I know you might have encountered some of them that are going to tell you that tomorrow I will follow you to that place and tomorrow they will just to keep you waiting without any tangible excuse. Maybe you said you're going to go to class to study together and they even try to tell you that, don't worry, I'm going to make it. And by the time you say them, like, I just said it, forget about it, don't take it serious. People that will tell you A, and they will not do the A. They will even encourage you to do it, but they will not do it. Stay away from that kind of people if you want to maintain your sanity. The third on my list is to stay away from people that can do anything, even if it's illegal, even if it's evil, to achieve the goal. There's this philosopher, Nicole Machiavelli, that says the end justifies the means. Even if you have to kill for you to get to that thing, they don't mind. Stay away from such people. Some people, even jokingly, they will say that, I don't mind sleeping with anybody to get that phone. I don't mind betraying anybody for me to get to that position. Jokingly, take note of that. If you notice that this kind of person, they don't even mind lying against their friends, betraying their friends, 
just for them to get that position, just for them to get that man, sleeping with lecturers, sleeping up and down with men just to get money, to get a car, to get some, to acquire some material things. Stay away from that kind of person because if Kai is not taking, you might be Leo, you might be influenced to join them. And if you're not ready to join them, it will affect your sanity. Sometimes you don't have to groom about the streets for someone to call this person insane. There's some little behavior that we must start saying and um, start developing, start manifesting. There's some mental breakdown that you must start manifesting that might actually affect you. So if you're, if you're, you're, you're particular about living a sanity life, if you're particular about your mental care, stay away from this kind of people that can do anything even if it's legal, even if it's evil, just for them to maintain that position, just for them to achieve their goal, stay away from them. Before I continue, I just want to introduce you to our latest magazine, the seventh edition of Edith Edition magazine, which centers on paradigm shifts. A lot of things are going on in the society, but there is now a paradigm shift. So for you to know more about that and to know more about Sister Omolara Ayola PMH. Try to get it. The soft copy is just 3000 naira and it's on seller. I'm going to drop the link in the description box. Get your copy. And if you want a copy, just message me. I'm going to drop my phone number also there. The fact on my list is to stay away from people that bow mouth people, other people to you. What goes around comes around. If they say bad thing about other people to you, then expect them that they are going to say bad thing about you to other people. Some people, their job is just to think from one thing to the other. Do you know what happened to Labbaj? Do you know what happened to him? Do you know what happened to him? If you see that person, don't be bad. I'm not going to If you see anybody that always loves to bad mouth people to you, please stay away from that person. And if you see both of them together, they'll be like, oh, best day for life. But behind those person, they are saying bad, bad things about them. If they are saying bad things about people to you, then expect that they are going to say yours to other people. So stay away from those people. For you to avoid story that touches later, so stay away from them now. You guys. <laughs> and the last on my list, which is very important, is to stay away from people that talk down on your God and the things about God. Can two move together except they agree? No. Don't be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. If you see someone that does not believe in your God and talk that on your God and talk that about your religion, talk that about things that have to do with God, blaspheming the Holy Spirit, saying all manner of things about God, please stay away from that person. No matter who the person is, stay away from them. Your God is the priority. Without Him, you are nothing. Without God, I am nothing. So don't befriend, don't, don't be in the company of those that say bad, bad things about God or things of God. So be mindful of where you stand, where you, who you walk with, who you sit with, what you hear, what people say about your God. If you're actually talking about God, our oh, God was faithful, without God, I'm nothing. And next thing is I want to say, I beg, stop telling about stop. Stop chanting about God. Stop praising God. Like, please stay away from those kind of people. Or they will tell you that you should remove Jesus from your message. Remove Jesus from what you say. You find you're still a Christian, but remove Jesus from what you do. Please stay away from such people because they're going to affect your mental health. They're going to affect your sanity. Anybody that talks out on your God, please stay away from them. Please. Don't forget to stay with me in this journey of living a dignified life. And until next video, remember to stay dignified. <laughs>